Hello and welcome to this RMS video. In this video we'll be showing you all about the alarm schemes. So in order to access the alarm schemes we go to tools and setup. And the setup on the left side you can see alarm schemes and here we will create a new alarm scheme. So the alarm, please enter the name. So uh, if what the alarm scheme does, basically if we have 20 different measurement devices for temperature, we can set up an alarm on each single measurement point, or we can set up one alarm under alarm scheme, and we can put this alarm scheme onto each single measurement point. So it's much faster, especially if we need to change it. So let's say we, uh, we're working in a pharmacy and we want to monitor the fridge. So the fridges are uh, constantly running and they need to be monitored between 2 and 8 degrees. So what we'll do is here we put in fridge monitoring and we'll put 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. We'll click on OK. And then we see here we have the ID, we have the name and we have the parameter. So here we're talking about temperature. It is applicable in, I can go to the group and I say in Europe, in America they have different standards, or they could have different standards, for example, we click on OK. And at the moment it's not used. Then we can say various conditions. Does a switch input have to be activated? Is there an active time for the alarm? And then we can put down the thresholds. So here we have threshold one, this is a normal working period and threshold two which is outside of the active time or condition that's fulfilled. So I'm only interested here during the uh, normal working so I can put a warning. The warning lower limit is let's say three, higher limit is seven, hysteresis of 0.5, the delay of zero, no problem, and I can also choose an action. Here it's not used because there is no action that has been set up please see the action video to find out more information about this. So now we've done the warning, we do the alarm, and the alarm, the lower limit will be 2, and the upper limit will be 8. I can now click on save, and I have now saved this alarm scheme. If I now go under my measurement points, as we were talking about temperature, I go to the temperature measurement point. And now I have the possibility under alarm to set the alarm scheme. So I click on alarm scheme, I choose the name, and I have my fridge monitoring 2 to 80 degrees Celsius. I click on OK. I can either choose the notification settings, please see the notification settings video for the more information here, or I can click on a user. So here the user is James. I simply then push on save and I have updated my alarm on this measuring point from the measuring point directly to the alarm scheme. If I now look at my chart I can see, I have to zoom in to see this, but if I zoom in here, I can see that my alarm bands have shifted. And now an alarm has been created, stating here that I am no longer within my uh, area, but I am in an alarm mode. You can see that also from the little dot here and from the dot on the mirror. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching this film.